of hip hop we on the last day of the month make sure that you still stick tuned throughout the year because we want to give you more of the gist of what has been trending in the hip hop world my name is Michelle Ashira from why got it to make mill bringing you all the international news i am your host Hedy and yes like she said welcome to hip hopping Last Saturday, Mick Mill was denied entry to the Cosmopolitan Hotel in an act that he actually termed racist. Now, a lot of rappers came to his aid over the incident, claiming discrimination from the hotel staff. Mick Mill was denied entry by the hotel and was ordered to vacate the premises as he was considered to be trespassing. Through his lawyer, Mick Mill demanded an apology from the hotel sentiments echoed by the rapper such as 50 Cent and T High who said they will boycott the hotel until the issue is resolved. Let's flip it to another story. Earlier on this week, on 28th, we got to celebrate the Menstrual Hygiene Day globally where girls got to be educated on the importance of cleanliness during the menstrual cycle. King Kaka, through his initiative of Bank on Me, visited three schools in Samburu and issued out over 700 sanitary towels. The Bank on Me initiative was started last year with the intention of keeping the underprivileged girls who can't afford sanitary towels in school. Since last year, March, the Bank on Me initiative has helped over 11,000 girls with their target being 100,000. If you would like to help keep a girl in school, go to www.bankonme.com. Moving on to a different story, Lil Nas X has been caught into a battle between country and hip-hop heads. Lil Nas X earlier this month released a song, Old Town Road, a fusion between hip-hop and country music. The track initially debuted in the country Billboard 100 and was later on removed for not being country enough. Tension has been brewing with hip-hop heads terming the action uncalled for, while claiming double standard in accepting the song as country. Hip-hop heads are calling for tolerance by the country heads as they don't discriminate when country artists cross over to hip-hop. Okay. While these guys keep debating, the song is breaking records and recently surpassed streaming records held by Drake. Let's move on to another story. His songs have become like a national anthem to most of us who sing along to his music. Our own nation skill will be headlining on the African All Stars concert in Toronto, Canada. Moving on to another story, why got him have to lose his car and his mansion in order to pay a 6.6 .6 million lawsuit? The lawsuit came about after the rapper was paid $2,000 to drop a verse on Young Fletcher's truck, which he bailed even after the studio stations were booked. To add salt to injury, Y Gotti recorded a version of the song and released it as his own, leaving Young Fletcher to the masses of the court. He later failed to attend a court summon to resolve the matter and went behind the judge to award Young Fletcher a recording deal worth 150 k to hash the matters. In his judgment, the judge found him in contempt, giving him a hefty fine of $6.6 .6 million. This goes to show big rappers to own agreements lest they get in trouble. That's all we got for you right here on Hip Hop. And make sure next Thursday you keep time at Michelle Shira is where you can get me. Yes, that's all from us. I am your host, Edio Goe, and you can catch me at Edio Goe at all my social medias. It's bye bye from us.